Hi guys, welcome to Office Bloke's Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I am Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. Mm. Coming at you live yeah. from Atlantic Podcast Studios. Yes, we are. On the road to 100,000 subs. Getting close. Getting real close. Getting getting close. I think it's 93 and a half at the time of recording. Approximately, yeah, yeah. Yeah, unbelievable, so, unbelievable. Yeah, doing well. Yeah, and we have a Patreon page that Office Bloke Mike, not on Instagram, is going to tell you all about. <laughs> That's the fella. Uh, yeah, go to patreon.com uh, if you want to help support our channel, if you want to help us grow, uh, go down there. We've got loads of content, uh, starting just £1.50 or $2 with bot videos, exclusive stuff. So, uh, yeah, go down and check it out. Yep, all the good stuff. And there's two other channels that Office Bloke does on Instagram is going to tell you all about. Cheers, Office Bloke Dave on Instagram. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> we have Office Blokes Try, where we try different things from around the world, from food to drinks to sports, you name it. It's all going to be on there. So go over and like and subscribe. We've got Cinco de Mayo coming on there soon. Yeah, can't wait for so that. That's, that'll be uh, May the 5th, funny enough. <laughs> And, uh, sure? <laughs> yeah. and also we've got uh, Office Blokes podcast where we do a couple of podcasts every week, one which we talk topical content. If you want us to talk about anything, just let us know in the comments and we'll talk about it. And we've got uh, one on a Tuesday, which Mike and I mm. do on English Premier League football. Mm. And coming soon, Office Blokes Confidential on our podcast channel. Yep. Office Blokes p- p- Potential. 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 <laughs> Office Blokes Confidential is the new segment that's going to be on the podcast channel where you write to us either text ye oldy emails or dms you can do video submissions you can do audio submissions and tell us your problems and we're absolutely stealing it from bill burr's monday morning podcast i've never heard bill burr's monday morning podcast i've never listened to the whole thing but there's compilations all over youtube of bill burr's life advice and it'll be a five hour long compilation of just him ranting about exactly what we're this is where we got the idea from may or may not you're anyway. stealing it, then we're not because we've not lived in the house. I was the so. <laughs> Oh, whatever. It's not, about being, it's not about reinventing the wheel, is it? Yeah. It's just making it turn faster. Yeah. That's what it's about. Uh, uh, yeah, so give us your problems. And the three of us with our varied life experience, lots yeah. of wisdom, lots of mistakes. Most of the mistakes are mine, to be fair. Um, and we will just try and put an interesting, funny take on it. That's the plan. Yeah, and yeah. we'll probably just take the piss out of you. So we will. That is the plan. It's as worth well. a pop, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so 50 people show us their state's accents. I wonder if we can guess or if it's going to tell us straight away. Because I won't mind, ge- I won't mind guessing. I think it's very difficult to guess state's accent, especially if you'd probably pick up Boston and you'd probably pick up New York. I don't think some of the too southern, bad. There's like, some of the southern states you might pick up. Yeah. But I, don't think, I don't think you'll know the difference, us here. I don't think you'd know the difference between Vermont and Maine. No, <laughs> for example. But then there's like Oklahoma, which is quite a distinctive accent. There's that that whole region. Could be, but you there. might mistaken it. Would you be able to nail it as Oklahoma, or would you put it down as the you know? I'd probably get it New down Mexico to, or somewhere like that. You know, and then Chicago. That's a distinctive accent as well. I think, I think there's a few that we'd have a, a chance of getting. I think, fun. like you say, the southern accents as well. I mean, I just thought it'd be like one, but you say like you've got like different ones from Mississippi to. Tennessee. 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 I'm, not saying, I'm not saying anything. It's not my video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go for it. 50 people show us their state's accents. I never thought I had an accent, but everyone else told me I did. So I never really understood my accent. But we say soda pop, and that was weird, I guess. That didn't sound like an accent to me. It sounded like an American accent. It's yeah. a, you, like generic yeah. American yeah. accent. What is you saying? Like Boston or somewhere. Mm. It's... T- distinctive but if i said to you if that didn't have oregon across the top with if i said to you where do you think he's from i don't think you'd have said oregon. no no chance no That's way. what i'm saying no, no i would have guessed northern somewhere because you don't say y'all yeah that's pretty much is it. that your is that if you don't say y'all you're from the southern well, if you say y'all you at no point did he say uh i've been told i've got an accent bitch but i've not got <laughs> The great thing about Oklahoma is it's really this confluence of a whole bunch of different parts of the country. So the, the northern part of the state is really like the plains. So I lied, I wouldn't have known she's from Oklahoma. <laughs> oh, there you go, you see. Because she didn't sing Oklahoma. <laughs> no. I don't know who I... There's, there's a, a famous American actor or actress with an Oklahoma accent, and it's just... Uh, Joe Pesky. <laughs> Pesky. Not Pesky <laughs> Pesky. Uh No, I think it's a female actress, and I, I, that voice I associate with, but... It's a different accent to hers, so fair play. People we'll kind of have that flat Iowa accent. People always know I'm from the Midwest when I say bagel. 
but if you get down south to the Little Dixie portion, it has a much more of a southern drawl. Elongating those vowels a little bit. And saying y'all every sentence. How y'all doing today? Y'all wanna go to Waffle House? Come on over, we'll go to Waffle House. It's just like real round in your mouth, and you're just like, hey y'all, how we doing tonight? Um, are you guys gonna go down to the game this weekend? I'm so excited. Like Joshua's doing real great this year. Everybody talks really slow, especially compared to New Yorkers. Most New Yorkers are loud. You gotta fit your way into a conversation most often times when you're in New York. Vermont's accent is uh, very unique and it's hard to slip into unless you're talking to another person who like grew up farming. But the first- Bank camp. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying, yeah, 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 you're right. Everything's a question. I shoved a flute up my- <clears throat> Did you? That's what she said, isn't oh, it? Oh, that's what you One were saying. One time at bank camp. The that I can say in my accent is always, oh sure, bud. Oh sure. People from California kind of have like, they say like. Colorado doesn't really have a typical accent. Lots of people say that it has no accent, but you'll definitely get called out if you say Colorado. It's Colorado. So I've been told from people in New York that my state has an accent. Some people go, Chicago. I don't think we do. There's parts that I can hear like... I don't think any they of these... They all sound the same. Yeah, they've not they've got strong the accents. York, the guy from New York had, a, had an accent. But yeah, none, definitely. None yeah. of it is like, you know, the, the Paul O'Grady of wherever they're from. You know, like he, that, that, he's got the Scouse accent. You ever watch the um, <clears throat> Swamp Men? Yeah. Is that the sort of accent you're looking for? Depends what state. <laughs> not for New York, no. No. <laughs> yeah, but just that... I suppose I, if I was going to do this for the UK and it was regional accents, I'd go for the thickest accents I could find from those regions as the examples. This is all is is very just American accent to me. That's because you don't you're not you're not from the USA, so a lot of people from the USA may think our accents are all the same. That's true. Sometimes you just pick on pick up on certain well, words, don't a, a word or phrases, a phrase, yeah, and, yeah, and right. then you it sort of you click, don't you? Think, yeah, that's where they're from. You yeah. know, in this country, anyway. I'm assuming it works the same over there. But we have a guy that plays football before he's a football coach before us, and everyone calls him Captain America because he's American, but he's actually Canadian. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I, I know he's Canadian because I didn't go right. Everyone, get out. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought he's definitely Canadian. I just yeah. let everyone carry, carry on calling him Captain America. <laughs> How creative. That's nice of you. I'm going to let him know. It's actually Canadian, you know, lads. A little bit of a twang and kind of sound like this. Some people in New Mexico have accents, depending on what part of the state you're from. People in the South tend to sound a little bit more like they could be from Texas. Really wide syllables, really kind of drawn out phrases. It's a little sing-songy, like a little bit valley girl almost. I'm from New Mexico and I love eating burritos. You wanna go skiing up on mountain? Pass me those taters. <laughs> I don't know, I mean like there's cowboys, you know, there's horses. I don't know, because I don't feel like I have an accent. I went home a couple of years ago and was watching home videos of my sister and I, and we had to like do a weather forecast as like little kids and we'd be like, there's a big hurricane coming from the, the left coast, but don't worry because we don't know that it's coming. And people would be like, what are you saying? I can put on the, you gotta park the car and hop the yard and give the guy a quarter for some chowder. That's a standard Boston accent right there. Any ER would have an A. Half of that wasn't even words, was it? it? I just got, like I just got clam it. chowder just in the end. <laughs> at the end. It's kind of like Boston, but cooler and a bit more drunk. <laughs> like, we gotta go up to Bar Harbor to get some lobster supper. My mom has this kind of strange, half French Canadian, half Boston accent that sounds like peanut characters. Womp womp. Oh, if you're from North Dakota, you've got some long O's. Oh yeah, you betcha. Yeah, hang on to your R's a little too. It gets a little bit thicker the older you are. Your grandma sounds a little bit like this. Your mom might be a little bit softer. I'm from Wisconsin. Go pack, go. It kind of gets like up here. Go pack. I say big. I have some eggs and a big. The best example of the Wyoming accent I feel like I've ever seen was in Brokeback Mountain. One curve in the road and they missed it. So if you live in Washington State, no one ever says they have an accent. They all think they speak pretty normal, which is kind of true. Just kind of middle of the road. Sort of like Delaware itself. But they also kind of have like a country hit kind of thing to them. So they'll say like, Washington, like I'm gonna wash my hands. And you're like, wash? What kind of a word is that? 
we pronounce our T's as D, so we say like Connecticut instead of Connecticut. I feel like Michigan's typical accent um, is very nasally. Hi, like that type of vibe. So. That went through me. <laughs> so you don't want to go Michigan? Something right on the air hole there. <laughs> like, oh. Air hole. Hey, air hole. It wasn't oh. the accent, it was that inflection and the, the graveliness of it. People from all over the world put that on parts of America. You get girls in the UK that do it, traditionally London, and just that little bit. Yeah. Don't know why. If I'm from like Northside Kauai, I'm going to sound something like this. People say that us Marylanders have accents, but I don't think we have an accent. Idaho doesn't have a really distinct accent. There's no accent in Indiana. This might be very biased, but I don't think we, I really don't think we have an accent. I don't hear it, but I get reminded of it when I travel. I mean, I, I think this is normal. It's a perfect neutral Pacific Northwest tone. Sarah Palin does not have a typical Alaska accent. She's not really from there. She grew up in, I don't know, Kansas or something. My husband laughs at me because I say wolf instead of wolf. Our accents are all over the place. The first one that comes to my head is a Latino one. Me voy a coger un cortadito. There's the St. Louis accent where we say certain things like quarters and water. Where I'm from, they like to say Haina or Mayan. That shirt over there is Mayan. From Philly, they like to say wooder and use guys. But in Pittsburgh, instead of use guys, they say yins. What are yins doing? North Carolina is... I thought use guys was like a New York thing. That's what I would have yeah. thought as well. Mm. It's, like not far, it's not far, is it? They're only... Or well, scouts. 50, 60 miles away, I guess. <laughs> is it something like that? It, Italian-American sort mm. of use guys, mm. mobsters sort of thing. That's why I associate yeah. with that. But again... Most of these people are quite well spoken. I'm not getting really broad accents from anyone. There's not much no. difference. I can't pick up much difference between them all. No, no. Whereas we've heard Texans on other mm. videos we've done where it's a proper Texas accent, and I've not had anything stand out like no. that yet. Maybe the Massachusetts. No, I know one, what you mean. More yeah, so, yeah. but I think sometimes with uh, with accents as well, it's certain things you say. It's a phrase. Yeah, of course. So you'll say a phrase that people associate you from a certain place. Then, yeah, no, I'm with you at that. Is it's it's an interesting accent. It's just got a little bit of a drawl. It's a little lazier. Just very slow pace. Very good. Very nice. That's more like this trust in South Carolina, which is more like this. It's more smooth. It might have a daughter named Darcy. And then you got the real squealy, squealy southern accent. And then you just got the bear just, hey, <laughs> how you doing? God bless. You have a good day now. You know what I take away from that is, if anywhere, I need to be in Alabama. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's been a few things that are tipping me towards Alabama if I was going to be over yeah. there, to be fair. You know, the videos we've done, food, accent. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them seem fairly the same, didn't they? Didn't they? Fairly sort of generic and everything, but you can tell, that, like the proper southern one there. Then, yeah, that stands out a bit more. You've got to go for the ridiculous ones. Like, I, I think it'd be funny for us to make a video of that and get people from all around the country and get a proper scouser. But you could even get the two sides of Liverpool because there's two accents in there for Liverpool. <clears throat> there's two accents to Merseyside, not to Liverpool. I think there's two scouser yeah. accents. Mm -hmm. You got the im im. Yeah, that's what they all say. Does, does a, <laughs> there's a soft spoken Scouse accent yeah, as well. That's more still than the Scouse accent. Rural side, maybe, isn't it? Where that's it's a bit, Mersey side, though, and it's softer. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I know what you mean. mean. It's the Wirral don't come in the Liverpool. It comes in the Mersey side. Oh, no, you could say I'm Manchester. Saying. You could say like Bolton's Greater Manchester or Oldham, but they've got a different accent than us, haven't they? Mm. So. But I've, I've known people from Liverpool, as in the middle of Liverpool, and you've got the. I suppose it's the difference between the thick Manc accent and then growing up in Trafford, which yeah. is still a Mancunian accent to a degree. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's, it's a bit softer, though, isn't it? Yeah, and like Southern Manchester, I suppose, in general. But I like the Alabama one there. Yeah, probably. I think you're one of them guys, Dave. If you went to visit Alabama, you'd come back talking like that in the space of about a month. I don't think I'd take on people's accents. Mm. You'd be like, speaking. I've, like I've that never a spent month. long enough anywhere. Like I've had loads of mates that have travelled and gone to Australia for two years, and when they come back, I'm just like, "Fucking shut up." You were Scottish before you started here. Eh? I was, yeah. <laughs> I was Irish before. <laughs> that. He's got Northwich accent now, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> like combine yeah. harvester, <laughs> tractor. Oh yeah, drinking drinking scrumpy. <laughs> yeah, <off> which. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Farmland. <laughs> hmm. yeah. But yeah, I didn't know it was much of a difference in the accents. No, pretty close, weren't they? Not I mean, the guy Alabama at the end was obviously a massive difference. Yeah. I think quite a lot of that was quite well spoken, possibly middle class people that were putting on yeah. their accent. If you know what I mean, mm. so they were yeah. giving us examples of what their accent sounds like, but actually they're all quite yeah. well spoken people. I think, like I said before, I think the New York one you could tell a little bit more as well, couldn't you? Yeah. But then, yeah, I think we're lumping a can of worms. Everyone's going to say, "What do you mean you couldn't tell the difference between Oklahoma and Vermont?" Yeah, yeah. the differences were very subtle. Mm. That's the thing, and yeah. for the untrained ear. But sometimes it's just words and phrases, and if you're just t- saying a little sentence, there, it's difficult to for us to pick up massive differences, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, and we could argue put the Mancunian accent next to the Scouse accent for someone who's never listened to yeah, might not people be able to tell UK us. What we are, tell us. True, yeah. for us it's glaringly different. Yeah, especially if you speak fast, which yeah. I do. Yeah, I do. Loads of people have said to me, Are "You a Scouser?" and I've gone, "No." And we You've just gone, had that. We just no. we just had that. <laughs> we just had that conference call with them Scousers, and they were proper Scouse. Yeah, and we were proper Manx, and you could tell yeah. the difference big yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. thirty you know? miles away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it is yeah. crazy, yeah. isn't it? But yeah. Anyway, yeah. interesting though. Yeah, I'm sure they'll open up a whole can of worms in the con- in the comment section. Yeah, yeah. go for it. Definitely. Go for it. Yeah, have some arguments in the comment section. It's good for the algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell and all that good stuff. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers.